As you guys know, Halloween is one of the biggest prints on demand trends. And in case you have noticed, sales have started to come in. People are making decent money selling prints on demand products, especially to do with Halloween. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Halloween design that has the potential to go viral, guys. And I'm gonna do that using Illustrator and a very easy way that anyone can do, guys. It doesn't matter if you know how to design, if you don't know how to design, I'm gonna show you step by step. So make sure you follow with me from the start till the end to know how it all works. Now, let's dive right in. So guys, let's say we're doing some research to try and create some design for Halloween. We come to Amazon and we see what we're going to design for. I saw this one and I think I want to design something similar to this uh, nurse design. Again, I'm just going to show you guys how this design or something similar to this design can be created. I'm not saying my design is going to be better or worse. I'm just showing you the method and you do what you will with it. So let's break this design down guys we've got some uh, elements here so nurse hat we've got bats and we've got some spiders as well and maybe a cat right here and a witch hat stethoscope and some letters with halloween patterns inside them now we need to think where we're going to get these elements and how we're going to put them together to create a great design my go-to resource guys is definitely creative fabrica because it pretty much has everything that i need and if you guys want to start with creative fabrica for just one dollar for the first month i'm going to leave you a link down below in the description they've got pretty much everything fonts graphic elements classes everything you need guys anyway so i can't Come to creative fabrica and i type halloween alphabet letters i'm gonna scroll down and see which one i like i kind of like this one so i'm gonna go ahead and download it click on download and there it is guys we've got four types of letters with different patterns so we've got the first pattern this one here and so on and so forth so what i've done guys is i've imported each letter that I need from different patterns. So we've got the N right here. I'm going to copy it and paste it right here. And we've got the R. So I'm going to paste it again. We've got the S and we've got the E. Now I didn't import the U because I'm going to do something special. So let me rearrange these. Okay, I'm happy with them like so. Now next, I'm thinking of using, you know that ghost mixed with nurse, Boo Crew, this one right here. It came to my mind because it was uh, such a thing about two years ago. Maybe we can bring it back to life and see if we can uh, mix a trend that you used to do really well with something new. I'm going to scroll down and see the one that I like. Right, I'm going to get this one right here, guys. There we go. Click on download. And there we have it. I'm going to need to import it to Illustrator and do what I need to do with it. There it is, guys. So I'm just going to copy this bit right here and paste it over here. Make it bigger. Rearrange it. And there we have it, guys. Let me put a background behind it. There we go. Now I need to add some elements. Again, I went to Creative Fabrica and put Halloween elements. And I think I'm going to download this one right here. Because I can see there are many elements I can get from it. Click on download there we go guys we've got plenty of stuff that we can work with we've got bats we've got witch hat broom we've got bugs <laughs> and so on and so forth i think i'm gonna use a spider web behind the nurse right here yeah we can use this one easily i'm gonna copy it and paste it right here there it is i just need to bring it behind my shape i think that works fine next we can use some bats I'll put them right here, I think. Where can we get bats from? We can get it from this design right here. There we go. Rearrange them how you like. Now we could probably put some witch hat over here. We can either use this one right here or we could use this one. I think I prefer the purple one. Yeah, let's use this one. There it is. There's one little issue is that we don't have a white stroke because it doesn't look good at the moment i think i need to add a white stroke let me rearrange it properly that looks good at the moment now to add the white stroke is pretty easy i just need to click on appearance add the stroke over here make it white maybe do 20 i think it's too big probably 16 and bring it behind the shape like so i think that works we'll do 17 okay that works now we'll probably add a pumpkin or something yeah we'll add this pumpkin right here we'll put it over here again it doesn't have a stroke so add a stroke it's pretty easy just like we did with this one right here add a stroke 15 make it white and bring it behind the shape like so perfect i need to fix this a little bit i think that works now what else do we add guys we'll probably add some bugs or spiders or whatever yeah let's add these bugs guys i'm gonna click on them again shift 
and shift copy and paste now i need to change the color to white it's easy guys we'll just go over here change the fill and change the stroke uh, there's one little artifacts this one right here has a fill and a stroke see this line i need to remove the fill because i think i'm only interested in the stroke watch this guys see that now that's better we'll do the same thing on the other shapes like so remove the fill see that's better and again remove the fill perfect now we just need to add it over here make it bigger maybe something like that and we'll add this one right here and this one over here something like that bring it behind the shape so that it looks good i'm gonna group them into one group and put them behind like that rearrange it however you want guys until it looks good for you maybe i need to make this one a little bit smaller something like that yeah that works for me guys or you could do something like this and there we have it guys by no means this is a perfect design guys but it just goes to show you that with little creativity you could actually come up with something nice just by putting things together i could make it much better but i don't have time to do it guys this is just a demo now again to download this design we have to remove the background like so and go to file export export for screens name our design export artboard and there is our design guys that simple again to get started guys with creative fabrica for just one dollar i'm going to leave you a link down below in the description you will be amazed at how much value you're getting guys with this package and more importantly guys they've got a fantastic promotion on at the moment for halloween you'll be able to get daily freebies if you join with my link that i showed you guys now once you have your design go ahead and upload it on on merch by Amazon, Redbubble or Etsy or any POD platform that you're using and start crushing it guys. And if you guys need a merch by Amazon account or you know someone who needs one, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. You'll get it within 24 hours of purchase. I'll also leave you below a crash course for merch by Amazon along with 200 plus profitable print on demand niches, a link to check out my full ultimate merch by Amazon course that's helped hundreds of people crush merch by Amazon. And if you guys don't have time to do niche research i'm gonna leave you a link for my niche research service i hope you got some value out of this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel leave me a comment down below with your questions or any suggestion for future content share the video hit the notification button to get notified whenever i upload a new video and i'll see you in the next one